Well, Gretchen, you're a very hard act to follow. <laughs> I really enjoy being here this evening. I think we're all very happy to be here this evening. And I want to thank Teresa very much for this special award. The award is especially significant to, to me because it honors John Hines, who, like you, Teresa, clearly understood the importance of a healthy environment to the prosperity and livelihoods of our inhabitants of our planet Earth. It was John's bipartisan efforts and courage to speak out on environmental issues that led to the passage of the Clean Air Act of 1990. I am very grateful to the Heinz Foundation for focusing attention on the central role of science in providing information necessary to address environmental problems like global climate change and ocean acidification. It is indeed through your work, Teresa, that we scientists are challenged every single day to live up to John's legacy and to speak out on environmental issues of concern to us all and to our nation. I'm very pleased that this award has focused attention on the long-term role of the oceans in absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, from the burning of fossil fuel emissions for energy. We now know that our marine ecosystems could very well pay a very stiff price for taking up the excess carbon dioxide and, <clears throat> and continue along the pathway of emission of CO2 as our primary source of energy. We now understand very clearly that the entire food chain, from the tiniest plants that provide the oxygen we breathe, to the fish and shellfish that provide the food we need for human beings to live, are at stake. These new research results have shown us just how much our marine ecosystems depend on the goodwill, the stewardship, and the, concerning, uh, and the stewardship concerning the choices that we humans make about our energy needs while sustaining a clear, clean environment. I am very grateful to you, Teresa, and to the Heinz Foundation for highlighting the importance of this environment to our, to our humanity and to ourselves as a population. I also want to thank our leaders at NOAA, particularly the Honorable Jane Lubchenco, Craig McLean, Eddie Bernard, for supporting my research on the carbon cycle and ocean acidification in the oceans over the last 30 years of my career. And in particular, I would like to thank my family, Teresa, my wife, my children, Shauna, Christopher, Matthew, Brenna, his new wife of two months, and I want to really appreciate all that everyone has done for me and for my career and the love they have shown me and the support they have shown me over the years. Thank you all very much.